CIET and CERT presents the series of English stories. Learning to listen and listening to learn. Friends, let's listen to this program and enjoy. Now complete the sentences given to you in the worksheet based on your listening of the story. This is a story of six men who thought they were always wise. Listen to the story before you decide whether they were right or wrong. Six wise men. Once Six wise men went on a journey together. On the way, there was a deep river. There was no boat, so they swam across the river and got safely to the other bank. Are we all safe? asked one of the wise men. Let us count and see, said the others. The first man counted. One, two, three, four, five, he said. Look, one of us is missing. There are only five of us here. He had counted only the others. You are silly, said the second wise man. Let me count. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Yes, you are right. Oh, God, one of us is missing. We are only five now. He too had counted only the others. I will count and see, said the third man. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no! There were six of us on the other bank. There are only five here. One of us is drowned. The fourth man started counting. He said, Yes, we are only five. What shall we do? Then the fifth and the sixth man counted. They also said, we are only five. One of us is drowned, surely. And they sat down on the bank and cried. One of us is drowned. What shall we do? Oh, oh, our dear friend, what shall we do? After some time, the leader of the group said, We started on our journey on a bad day. So we lost one of us. We will not go further now. Let's go back. The others agreed. The wise men swam across the river and got back to the other bank. A man from their village saw them and asked, Aren't you going on your journey? No, we are not, said the leader of the wise men. We had an accident. We lost one of us in the river. So we are going back home. Who did you lose? The villager asked. We don't know, said the leader of the group. We were six. Now we are only five. The villager counted them. They were six and not five. He thought... These wise men are really not wise. They are foolish. Each one of them counted only the others. So he counted only five. I will teach these fools to count. He then told them, Stand in a line, please, and I'll tell you your number. The villager went to the first man, gave a rap on his head with his knuckles and counted 
One. He gave a rap on the head of the second man and counted two. In this way, he came to the sixth man, gave a rap on his head, and counted six. You see now, you are six and not five, he said. Hey, you are right, they all shouted in great joy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. The leader now told them, The missing man is back with us now, so let's go on our journey. That was the story of six men. Were they wise or unwise? Listeners, have you now come to a decision? Are they wise? Now, listen to a few statements. Listen to each statement carefully and then tell your friend next to you whether it is true or false. Statement 1 The six wise men swam across the river and one of them drowned. Again, the six wise men swam across the river and one of them drowned. Statement 2 Each man counted only the others. Again, each man counted only the others. Statement 3 The wise men were really not wise. Again, the wise men were really not wise. Statement 4 The villager was a fool. Again, the villager was a fool. Statement 5 The leader of the wise men said, The missing man is back with us. And he was right. Again, the leader of the wise men said, The missing man is back with us. And he was right. Friends, you are just listening to this program. We hope you have a pleasure listening to it. Project Coordination, Professor R. Meghanathan. Recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Special Contribution, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Production Assistance, Amit Kumar. Edited, Directed and Produced by Ajit Horo. This program was brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.